and uh, I'm also known as the legendary wid. I've been a comedian and a collector uh, all my life. And uh, I'm here at a warehouse in Philadelphia where I have set up my menagerie of toys. Now these are toys that uh, a lot of them made out of plastic, so I kind of feel good that I'm saving things from the uh, from the landfills. And uh, it's kind of environmentally fun because uh, you know and every generation throws away their toys. And so here's uh, here's what I like to do with them. It's sort of a boulevard of broken toys, and uh, it's set up here, and, uh, and it uh, appeals to uh, children and uh, adults. You know, they both have their uh, own little ways of explaining and uh, and, and loving it. But uh, I have a few hidden messages in here. It's mostly uh, toys and people. I like the more obscure toys and stuff. I don't like too many of the, the regular army men. I like people from train sets and, you know, cowboys and Indians and, uh, you know, Eskimos and all sorts. And there's cars and they've made millions and millions and millions of these different cars, okay, and they're all thrown away by, uh, you know, uh, once a child puts away the things of a child, okay, and, uh, but I maintain and the things of a collector and I don't look at the, the monetary value too much because I'm not willing to pay that premium, but uh, I, I like to find things and I, it's, uh, it's sort of a surreal setting, juxtaposed all these different uh, toys from different places and different uh, time eras. You know, we've got old toys, we've got, uh, you know, World War I wounded hero over here, okay, made out of lead. All right, there, there he is. We have the Pied Piper, all right. Having all these, uh, having all these different uh, cars and, and trucks from all, all, all sorts of games and uh, you know, and bottom of uh, boxes that I've got garbage picking or going to flea markets or going to garage sales or just finding them on the street. And uh, so, but causing this big giant traffic jam, okay, is, uh, is the snail. There's a snail over here and uh, he's, kind of, uh, he's kind of slowing things up. And these are all play sets from uh, different eras. You can maybe see some that, uh, you know, these, this is the turtles, the, uh, over here is, uh, you know, we got a couple zombies, you know, and I can't believe they made zombies for kid to play with, you know, we never had that as kids, the closest thing we ever had from, uh, was Rin Tin Tin or something like this, but uh, there's a, a couple train sets in here and things like that, but they're all juxtaposed and they're all kind of, uh, you know, they all kind of have their purpose and the different scales are mixed, and it's a, uh, it, it's, a, it's a fun thing to do. And this is just a small percentage of what I had. This was what it was in front of my three storage spaces that I keep at U-Haul, and uh, filled with uh, paraphernalia such as this that has been collected by somebody who, uh, who uses it. And uh, I also... Uh, in my act, okay, as a comedian, I used uh, hundreds of props, but this is what I did first because I was, a, I was an art student and I was, uh, I was very impressed with Marcel Duchamp who would bring ordinary objects and display them as art since I, uh, you know, I could, never, uh, I could never draw a straight line or, you know, or have that uh, expressionism sort of way. Um, I was um, I was drawn to that, okay, and I thought, well, this could be art, and so that's what I'm claiming. So, look me up. I'm the legendary Wid W I D. That's without I D. I'm on Facebook. All right, I'm ready to uh, display this at your home, at your business, at your next event, okay, and uh, also, if you like comics, we are it.